Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your lovely girl Tino. Today I have a haul for you guys. I want to first say something to you guys. Today is Mother's Day and I want to reach out to some of you guys that I know that are mothers and some of you guys that I don't know that are mothers. I wanted to reach out to you guys and wish you guys a happy, happy, happy Mother's Day. And I hope you guys really had a nice time. If this video goes after Mother's Day, please know that I still wish you guys a happy Mother's Day. I am gonna just jump ahead and go with the things that I brought from my hair. So if you guys don't know, I am on a natural hair journey and I am gonna start posting videos on my natural hair, but not right now because my hair is not to the point that I really want to like let you guys know what's up with it because it looks horrible right now. So I went to the store and I got me some argan oil uh, shampoo and I've been using this for so long since they came out with this and I really like it because it is sulfate free and you guys know that when shampoo has sulfates it's not really good for your hair so especially for African American hair so I really like this shampoo because it doesn't do that and it also it makes my hair shiny and it makes my hair really soft so I like this shampoo a lot next thing I got was the African Pride Olive Miracle leave-in conditioner this is my Holy Grail product. This is actually in a new packaging. I have been using this product since they had it in the old packaging and this product is really amazing. All you do is just put in your hair like a regular conditioner and you don't wash it off. So I really like this because for those days that I'm not willing to like condition my hair and I just want to put something on it to make it look good. So this is really good. So you guys need to check this out. The next thing I got for my hair is this Cantu Shea Butter Coconut Curling Cream. I have been wanting to get my hair to be curly. My hair is coarse as rubber. So I'm trying to get to be that curly wavy pattern. So I started uh, doing things to my hair, putting a lot of moisture in it. So I decided I wanted to get a curling cream. I saw the one by Sheer Moisture and it was really ridiculously expensive. It was like about $13. And I decided to try this out first. If I really didn't like it, I would go ahead and spend the money on the Sheer Moisture. So this is another product I purchased. And finally, the last hair care product is this hair care product from Beautiful Textures. And it's supposed to be a curl definer and it's a gel styling custard. So this is basically supposed to keep your waves or your curls defined. So I can say that I use this for maybe three days. I just recently got this, but I'm still probably still testing out products. I'm not really sure how I feel about this, but this is another product I purchased. Now we're gonna move on to skincare items. I brought my repurchased one of my favorite products. This is the Summer's Eve Cleanse and Wash. I know this is TMI, but people use this, so this is something that somebody uses. It's not something that you should be hiding in the closet or anything. So my husband sees this all the time, but this is really good. I love this a lot. I've been searching for something that will help me with my dry patches. My skin is excessively dry, so I'm looking for that product that's gonna like make my skin not too dry that my foundation can look really great on. Like my foundation tends to look patchy, especially when I have so many dry spots on my skin. So at first I was searching for the Garnier Moisture, the Moisture Renew Lotion. It's in some kind of container like this, but I couldn't find it, so I found the next best thing, and this is the L'Oreal Hydro Renew Lotion, and I will be reviewing this soon, so you guys stay tuned for that. Another thing that I got was the Neutrogena Naturals Face Cleansing and Makeup Remover um, Cleanser. But the thing is that I thought it was supposed to be something like, you know, the Maybelline Express, the Maybelline Express lotion. That is what I thought this was and well, it turned out to be a cleanser. And it also really is nice. I really like it actually. I made a mistake, but I think I like it now. And the last skincare product I consider this skincare is the Skin to Mint Moisturizing Shade Gel in my favorite scent, Raspberry Rain. I love this so much, guys. You guys don't know how much I love this. It is awesome. Smells so good. Like, you know, you know what I'm talking about talking about if you guys haven't used skin to mint I don't know where you've been now on to the fun part lippies you guys know I'm a lippy junkie I do not want to start counting how many lippies I have so let us stop rambling and get on to the point I got me some NYX macaroni lipsticks because I've been seeing these floating all over Instagram 
everybody's Instagram page has this oh my god it's just ridiculous so I decided I was gonna go ahead and get me some so I got me six colors and the reason is that the other six did not appeal to me I felt that if I got them they would be just a total waste of money and basically what's the point of getting something that I'm not gonna use so I'm gonna show you just a few colors and get you guys a little warmed up because I am gonna do a review on these lipsticks and let you guys see the, the cons and pros and all that good stuff that you guys need to know so this is the first one it is called a rose it is like a blue toned kind of pink it reminds me of snob by Mac the next one is called lavender it's more of a blue toned lilac kind of color this is called Violet. I thought this would have been a dupe for heroin, but it's definitely not. This color is called Orange Blossom. It's just a bright, vivid orange. This one is called Blue Velvet. As you guys can see, it's just a nice blue, vivid blue color. And the last one I got is called Pistachio. It's just like a mint green pistachio color. More NYX items on the way. I did get some of the NYX matte lipsticks and these were the new collections that they released in 2014. So they released a total of 12 and I really wasn't really excited about all the colors but I did pick a few of them. I picked five of the colors that I really really knew that I'm going to use and these are my favorite. I'm going to show you the one that I have currently on my lips. This is called Sable and it's kind of like a brown nude color. And this lipstick, people had a lot of problem with how it would look like on them. This is basically not for everyone. It's mainly, I think, for women of color. I absolutely love this. If you guys are of my skin tone or darker or whatever, I think you need this in your life. The next color is called Street Cred. This one is called Temptress. It's just like a coral pink nude color. This one is called Daydream. It's more of your average peachy nude color. And finally, I got this deep vampy color called Siren. And also, NYX came out with a new launch of NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams for 2014. I was really excited about this. And as I said with the NYX Matte Lipsticks, I was really excited about a few of them. So I decided to pick four out of the collection. I also picked the extra one from the old collection. And this first one you guys are going to be excited about. It is called Copenhagen. I don't know if I said that right. This next one is called Morocco. This one is called Ibiza. This vampy color is called Transylvania. And trust me, this is not black. It is just a very, very dark black and purple. And the last one I got from the old collection is in Antwerp. The other thing they did send me was a lip pencil and nectar. I really don't have an idea what I'm going to use this for because it is very much not my color. So I'm probably going to put this in my train case and keep this for my customers. I also purchased a NYX HD concealer from the actual Ulta store. I didn't go to the NYX website, but I just decided to include this because I'm talking about NYX lipstick, so I might as well put this in. And this is obviously not for me. It's for my clients. I think this shade if you guys are interested, it's called yellow. So I was right, it is yellow. I also got me three more Real Technique sponges. And the reason why they're, they're used is because I did go do some freelancing, so I had to open them. Now I'm gonna start talking about some random products that I purchased. I'm just gonna include them. I purchased the Color Tattoo 24 Hour Eyeshadow from Maybelline, and this is called Pure Nude. This is like nice, nice, nice nude color. I really like it. Finally, after debating on whether I wanted this product, I finally got the Ben Nye Luxury Powder. And this is in banana. Talked about highlighting powder. Can you guys believe that this costs $15.99? Ridiculous, right? It's just horrendous that you have to like hike up prices just because Kim K uses this product. Other thing I got randomly is a NARS nail polish. I know that's so random, right? And the nail polish is called Diamond Light. The last random thing I brought is this Rimmel Show Off Lip Lacquer. I'm just gonna show you guys a swatch so you guys can get a feel of how awesome this color is. It, the color is called Stellar. It is just like a bright, vivid coral 
luscious goodness whatever that wraps up the whole haul i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys gained something from it so if you guys want to pick up some nyx lippies you guys can go ahead and get them all these products were brought with my own cash my own dough they were not sent to me neither is this video sponsored i just feel like i have to say that because some people think like you get some of these stuff for free i purchased everything my own self so if you guys like this haul make sure you give me a thumbs up thank you guys i love you guys i feel like hugging you and giving you kisses thank you guys for the support you guys are so awesome i love you guys i hope when you guys need support that people can support you the way you guys are doing you guys are awesome so anyway guys i will see you in my next video bye